This is a numeric type question from TOC. We have been given a DFA and we need to determine the number of strings of length 8 that are accepted by the given DFA. So in this DFA, you can see that there is only one final state and this is the start state. So how many ways are there to reach from the start state to final state? The first way would be we traverse this way. First will be 0, then 0 and then we go this way to the final state. Now, what string did we generate from this path? 0, 0. And for the third place, we have both the choices, 0 as well as 1. So we can keep it blank, indicating that it has both the possibilities. So these three steps are done. Now the next five states are to be done through this loop itself in the final state. So, and even in those five states, we have two choices each. We can take either 0 or 1. So the next five steps, one, two, three, four, and five, all of these five and plus this one. So all of these six states are ambiguous. We can take either zero or one at all of these places. So if we follow this path, how many strings can we generate? Two to the power six, because we are having six places where we can substitute either zero or one. There are two choices each. So 2 raised to 6 is 64 strings we can generate through this path. Now let us say we follow this lower path 1, 1 and this one. Again at this we can say that 0 and 1 both are possible. So the strings will be beginning with 1, 1. The third place will be ambiguous. It can have either 0 or 1. And the next 5 are to be completed in this loop itself. So again those 5 are also ambiguous. So the number of strings we will be generating from this path will also be 2 to the power 6, which is 64. Now, is there any other path we can use to reach the final state? We can go like this way, 0, and then come down like this, 1. And then from here, we have no other choice. We will need to go like this. So what string did we generate? 0, 1. For the third position, again, we have two choices. And the next five will always be completed in the final state. So one, two, three, four, and five. Again, this path gives us two to the power six equal to 64 strings. Now, the last path we can observe in this DFA is this one. We take one first, then go here with a zero, and then like this. So from this path, we are generating the strings beginning with one, zero. Again, the next six places will be ambiguous they can occupy either 0 or 1 so that will also give us 2 to the power 6 equal to 64 strings and there is no other path available in this dfa so that this is all the possible strings we can generate beginning with 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and next six places are all uh, ambiguous we can place either 0 or 1 so the total number of strings we got is sum of all this or you can say 4 times of 64 which is 256. So this will be our answer 256 and there is one another way in which you can derive this answer. You can say that if we name the states like this, let us erase this out. Let us number the states as, let us call this Q0. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. As you can see from Q2 to Q5 and Q4 to Q5, the path is same. It is giving us either 0 or 1. Both are allowed. So we can actually merge these two states together. And in the same way, this Q1 and Q3 can be merged together. So this is not a minimal DFA. We can minimize it further and it will result into something like uh, let us draw it here. Okay, this DFA can be converted into like this. This is our Q0. We have merged Q1 and Q3 together. Let us call it capital Q1, capital Q2. So this can be our resulting DFA. From Q0 to Q1, we will have both of these 0 as well as 1. From this capital Q1 to capital Q2 will again have 0 to 1. This will again be 0 to 1. And here we are looping. So as you can see, this DFA is actually 
the DFA width. All the strings with length at least three. As you can see, length one, two, three. It will accept all the binary strings with length at least three. And from this, can we determine the number of strings with length eight? Yes, we can. For the first three steps, we will take two to the power three because each of them has zero and one both. And then for the next five states, which are to be completed through this loop. For that, we'll be using 2 to the power 5. So in effect, it becomes 2 raised to 8 or 256. So this way also we can do and get the same result. So there are 256 8 length strings accepted by this DFA. And what is this DFA? It is accepting all binary strings with length at least 3. So our answer is 256.